Keep playing. Welcome back to the PC build video I've been wanting to make for years. Well, a few months. Basically, I've been trying to make this for a long, long time, but I've never actually had the time, but finally I do, and here you are. I'm sorry this is the first thing you have to see, but I am only doing this to tell you that this is a pretty long video if you haven't noticed. And so, since it's pretty long, I have listed a time code in the description below and over here, which you can use to watch the whole video. If you don't want to watch it, you want to skip to sections, you can do that and you have help right here. But I know, I know that YouTube added this new thing where you can just skip and it, it shows in the loading bar. So you can just use that if you want. But hey, I'm just trying to help you guys out here. You know, it's a pretty damn long video. It took me a long ass time to edit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so enjoy. I hope you guys are safe. Enjoy the PC build video. It was one hell of a ride. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keep Playing. Welcome back to a new video. As you can see, this is another PC build. Now, um, last year we made one quite similar to this. And what I did was I, I recorded it in, in separate parts, but I've decided this time to just have it in one video. So what I have for you guys is a time uh, code, or should I say like, a whole table of contents kind of thing where I have the, uh, the description in the description there's a whole list of uh, time codes where you could go to to skip the parts but I recommend you watch this first part first and then you could go into sections of uh, me installing the CPU the motherboard whatever you want to see now um thanks to uh, Asus for sponsoring this video I'm still trying to process how that happened but it did and I'm really happy they basically gave me most of the stuff here um, actually one of the parts hasn't arrived yet it is the RAM it's the G skill Trident uh, Z 16 GB RAM quite similar basically the same thing uh, as last year we used for my PC but you can see me bending down a bit because I'm not really sure if I'm tall enough for this one of the disadvantages of being a bit too tall I think is this moment has been I don't understand what happened I think I have a power cut and you guys can't see me oh well so guys we started with a power cut but um, everything is fine uh, we are we are back I, I think uh, hopefully now uh, here are the parts that I've received and uh, I had to buy a few uh, to complete the, the build now this is an AMD processor and uh, uh, a flashback this is if you're using an Intel CPU, this is the Intel mounting bracket, like I mentioned before, the AMD is over here. But then again, like I said, I'm not going to change from Intel to AMD anytime soon. Well, Bruh. I, I guess I said I'm not gonna switch to AMD anytime soon. So guys, I am back. You might've noticed a change of attire. Well, I just got a power cut and hopefully it doesn't happen again. I feel like I'm cursed because every time I record this video, <laughs> the power cut came in, but uh, hopefully we're back and hopefully you guys can hear me I have my microphone over here, which you guys can't see so. But anyway, this is a quick overview of the parts that I have obviously we have an um, Asus ROG gaming strix motherboard here This is the X5, x570 series which is made for AMD processors and I do have an AMD 7 AMD 7 which is very nice 3700 X 8 core processor 16 threads it's literally better than the i7 8700K that I had uh, for last year, which is just so much ama so amazing. And I was talking about how AMD has been making a comeback recently, and they've just been amazing. And like I said, I won't. Well, last year I said I wouldn't be changing to an AMD. I guess I am now because it's just freaking amazing. And again, here we have a GTX R GTX. Sorry, I got used to GTX. This is RTX GeForce RTX 2080 Super overclockable with full eight gigabytes of VRAM. It's amazing. Uh, it has a three fan. It has three fans, so internal cooling. It's amazing. Um, I've said it's amazing twice. Uh, it's pretty much one of the best uh, graphics cards you could get on the market right now. Of course, the 2080 Ti is the best, but 2080 Ti to this isn't a lot of difference, but there is a huge difference in price. In terms of the power supply, we're going with the Corsair RM750, which is awesome because this is the new 2019 edition. Um, last year, I went with the 750i, which was the old 2018, if I'm not wrong. And for the RAM, we have, again, the G-Skill Trident Z. Um, this is the 16 gigs, which is the 8 by, 8 by 2 PC. This is actually not the uh, RAM that arrived. My RAM has not arrived yet. This is merely the old one that I used last year. And... Um, we have a very nice Corsair H115i Platinum water cooler. 
Now, last year I went with NZXT's cooler, and I realized that I really don't like NZXT's cooler. I have a lot of problems with it uh, in terms of the BIOS and just booting up. I've had a lot of issues, so I decided this time that uh, we go with this. But of course, um, this wasn't given by the uh, that wasn't given by ASUS. Everything else was, but this was not theirs. And we also have a crucial one terabyte M.2 SSD. Of course, this is PCIe. It's amazing because it's one terabyte, and it's uh, it's, quite, it's actually not that bad of a of a price for this uh, SSD. I've decided to use one terabyte because last time I used 256 uh, of SSD, and I've decided that this is better not only for booting up but also keeping auto storage is just faster to open files and, um, and transfer them. So this is pretty much it in terms of the overview. Um, of course, as usual, I have a PC part picker uh, list of all the stuff that I have here in the description. My line, I, my, oh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with my stabilizer, but hopefully before it does it again, we can fix this. Now, as, as I said, PC case, NCXT best. Uh, last year I went with the Razer edition, but this time I stuck with the Elite Black because it's, it's aesthetics suit this, uh, this build. And to be honest, it's more of a better case for an AMD build because it's more of an RGB ASUS kind of a stuff. Bruh. I don't understand. What, what's going on? Uh... So where was I? Yeah, so finally the PC case. Uh, this is a transparent front, which is quite awesome because it suits the aesthetics of the, the, the build. Plus, it's just much better in terms of my opinion. Well, because in front, we, compared to the Razer uh, PC case we have over there, this one has four USB ports on top as well as an HDMI plus two uh, audio in and out which is much more efficient for me because I like to plug them on top than on the back. But um, that depends on our motherboard, which does have eight slots, unlike our previous one, which only had six, and I had to buy an extender for that. But um, other than that, this is exactly the same case, uh, except for this, I might have to remove that. But everything else is exactly the same. And uh, I guess I'm just going to go on and build the actual PC. Yo, what's going on, guys? We're back. Uh, well, at least I'm back. It's actually the, not, not the same day. I'm just wearing the same stuff. <laughs> um, so basically what we have here, I've taken the uh, case apart. And as you can see, my brother here is doing my, uh, my camera man stuff. Um, you guys might be familiar with this if you've seen my uh, last year's PC build video. It's basically the exact same case. Now I'm actually quite com comfortable with this. I know what's going on. I know the basic stuff about this case. So uh, what I've done is I've taken the front panel off. I've taken the, uh, the, ba the back and the front, obviously the tempered glass, it's gone. Um, it's basically stripped down and it's ready for uh, putting stuff in. Now also, good stuff, our RAM arrived today. The main reason I have the PC here, I mean the PC case here before my motherboard is actually because I'm going to be installing the uh, power supply first. Uh, because as you guys know, I like to test out if there's any static issue with the power supply before I go with the, proce the process of building the PC because the power supply might be one of the most important uh, aspects of the, of the computer and if that's not working, did I, did I ask you a lot? No. Did I ask you? But yes, it's basically the most important aspect of the computer, one of the most important, and uh, if it shorts the whole, the, the whole computer, everything gets fried and it's basically useless. So we need to check that first. What? You're done basically, I'm done so, so yes. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do now is uh, take away this part. I mean, this is the back, if you guys want to see. I mean, last time we didn't have an HDMI extension port, but now we do because there's one up here on top. But um, we need to get rid of this so that I can actually insert the uh, the power supply inside and get the uh, the readings checked because that might be a problem for us later in the future. So it's better if I do it now. That's at least how my dad taught me how to do it because, I mean, he used to spend a lot of time building PCs uh, when he was younger. Uh, so I'm going to go grab my uh, power supply, which is down here. It's pretty, pretty it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, I have to say. Um, inside here, we have some nuts and bolts. We have a few um, screws, a few ties that we can use. But, I mean, the motherboard's given us a lot of ties anyway. So, I mean, we'll be needing them when we need them. That's for me, cable management. But right now, we don't really need that. I'm going to set this aside. Open up the uh, power supply. It's very simple. This is, again, the uh, Corsair RM750. Uh, it's one of the best uh, power supplies in the, in the market right now. Um, for its price at least and its performance. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. This is the first time I'm opening this ever since I got it actually, I don't really know. So this is basically what we get inside the box, the actual power supply, which is pretty nice actually. I mean, again, um, this is a fully modular power supply. So that's not your knuckle, I'll lie. That is your elbow. 
Okay. Yes. So this is a fully modular uh, power supply. Can you go back over there? Okay. Like you, this is why I don't want you to record because you don't know. What um, this is a fully modular power supply. Like last year, this is this what basically what fully modular means is you can only you use the, the cables you need and the ones you don't you can put away, um, which is a very nice thing for a power supplies. And as you can see, this one has a very nice cooling on top of it. I don't think my other one does. Oh well. Doesn't matter. This one's going in, but before that goes in, we're gonna get our cables out because that's like, if not the most important thing of this whole process. So this is the actual power adapter which we're gonna use to turn this thing on. We might find this useful. And next we have a few Molex cables which we're gonna use for fans and extend, extend, um, RGB and stuff. I mean, I'm not using any RGB right now, but we, are have, we have a lot of fans in here. We have two fans which are gonna need a Molex support, so that's, that's why that's here. And we have SATA, okay, oh no, this is, this is a PCIe, uh, which we'll be using. Um, I have a graphics card, and the RTX 2080 is, uh, stop dancing. What, what, are, what, are you, what are you dancing for? Bruh. You, you, you're jumping up and down. We, this is another K-pop video, okay? This is a PC build video. Now my GTX 1080 has a one, G, uh, what is it? No, no, okay, you're not even recording, Aloy. Have you not been recording this whole time? You know, actually, I just realized it says on the cable what these cables are. So these are two PCIe cables. I think I'll be only needing one because, uh, actually, no, I think I'm going to be needing two because my GTX, yeah, so it, it, it says on this, on the cable, whether, uh, what cable this is, but my, I think my graphic card might need two, but for now, I'll stick with one because I'm not sure yet. But, uh, other than that, what else do we need? We, of course, we're going to need the 24 pin. This is the thing that supports the whole motherboard. And uh, another PCIe, I think. No, this is a very important piece of cable, which I actually don't remember what it's called. But this is it's very important. I think we definitely need this. Uh, not necessary. I think we're going to need two for now. Um, of course, the CPU. A bit important, I think. Um... This one goes to uh, the PC. Okay, more PCU and CPU. I think these are all the things we need anyway. This one, not so much now. But uh, uh, basically, this can go down here. We don't need these at all. This can stay here. The G-Skill the G Trident Z RGB uh, can stay over here. I don't need that right now. Um, and yeah, so we can start building it. Basically, in order for me to put this inside, I just have to... Insert the cables now, because trust me, if you put the, the the power supply inside without putting the cables on, you have messed up big time. All right, so we're gonna get uh, this inside, quite straightforward, I mean, it's right here. Uh, that's not a 24 pin, this is the PCIe, which goes right here, I'm gonna put this right inside there, uh, pretty straightforward. It tells you where to put the cables. It's very easy. Like, uh, even my brother could come up and do this. That's how easy this stuff is. Um, this is the actual 24 pin not going there. You need to put this here. All right, guys. So basically what I did was I put the, uh, the PSU inside. I even connected some of the cases, but I haven't locked it in because uh, just in case I need to add some extra cables after I put the motherboard inside. If I need to add any, then it's really easier for me to do that. So um, right now we don't need the PSU or the case anymore, so we can put it down right here. You are not needed, but now we will bring the main juicy part. We're gonna be doing, oh, my cable is right here. You're stepping on my cable, careful. We're going to be actually installing the motherboard and the CPU. It looks so clean. It's wow. So, awesome. so look, it is the ROG Strix. It's so clean, man. I like, I know, it's, 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 it's so very, clean. everything's all right. This is an, uh, an antenna that you're given, a Wi-Fi antenna that I won't be needing because I'm using a uh, Ethernet cable anyway. Uh, and here we have the actual motherboard. It's a beauty, a beauty piece of work. Um, really, we don't, well, actually, I can't really see it. yeah, it's because you're not being a good videographer. videographer. So this one could be, I mean, I'm going to, yes, but no one uses optical drives anymore. So I really don't know what's the point of having that there, but this will be a very useful box, uh, for the actual installation onto the, the motherboard. Um, but for us right now, it's going to be a, a board for us to place our motherboard on top of. 
So here, a first-hand look at the motherboard, just just so you guys can see what it is. The interesting about this, the thing about this motherboard is I actually don't need an I/O shield because it's already pre-installed with one right here, which is pretty nice. So it just slots into the PC case, and it's very nice. So we have two PCIe slots, actually three, but this these two are the main ones, and I'm gonna need one whole thing anyway for my uh, my. Uh, um, GPU and as you can see this is for the processor and these are for DDR4 slots um, And everything else is just as normal. I'm gonna be using the m2 m2 m.2 SSD So this and that will be used uh, so that'll be interesting So I'll, I'll switch it back to my brother's view so you guys can see me actually install the CPU from this thing and, uh, Again guys, this is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700 X it's a very nice, it's a third gen processor and we're gonna get to open it. Now this looks like it hasn't been opened before, so we're gonna have to cut this part out. What? Okay, so what comes inside the box is quite interesting. They give you a cooler. They give you a, an air cooler, which is actually pretty awesome if you take a look at it. I didn't expect this to be as awesome as it is. Well, so this actually lights up, it's an RGB, but um, I'm not using air cooling, obviously, as you guys know, I'm sticking with the uh, the Corsair H115i RGB Platinum, which is an amazing cooler. I'm gonna stick with that uh, because for the work I'll be doing, I'll be needing overclocking. And so I think water cooling would be the best way to go for that. Um, so this is gonna go back inside the case. But the, uh, the actual main thing we're looking at right now is the actual processor, which is this really small, tiny box, which is kind of uh, anticlimactic if you think about it. Um, so here it is, the AMD Ryzen, it's, it's the side here, again, processors are very fragile and you have to be careful when you use them because you have to touch it on a very important corner. Now, usually you have a triangle on the corner so you know which one to put the uh, processor on, and here the triangle, that's the triangle, this one on my bottom left. For you guys, it's probably right. top right, but for me, that's not the case. So, I'm going to do it in terms of my uh, understanding. And we have, uh, of course, uh, look, look, look at this beauty. These, this pen, oh my goodness, these pins are awesome. The fact that they're also real gold, a lot of people don't know that. Really? Uh, yes, they're real gold. That means it costs a lot of money. Yeah, well, processors are expensive to begin with. Damn, it's actually pretty heavy for a, a, oh, a processor. processor. Um, if you look at this, I mean, if you just zoom in and you can, don't, don't zoom in, but just like focus on it, and you can just see how important this is uh, and how awesome it looks. It's very nice. So this is going to go in. Um, I can see that the triangle, the golden triangle is on this side. So this is going to go in just like that. But before that, we're going to get this open. Drop this in just like that. And we're going to close it. bring it in close and just push it in there. And guys, that, it's as simple as that. The processor has been installed. Unlike an Intel processor, it's so simple to install this AMD one because it's so simple to install it. Bruh. That's pretty much it, and you're done. Like You don't have to do anything else. Um, once you're done with the processor, basically we gotta put in the RAM sticks, right? Because that's the main idea. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is, I have two RAM sticks here, but I have a third one in my actual uh, C, uh, PC. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is taking that one too, so I have 24 GB RAM. I mean, this arrived today, and I was at school when this came. So I didn't know that. Now, as I showed you uh, yesterday, well, for you guys, just a few minutes ago, uh, it's the same case, I mean, the same box. Um, people probably thought you were in the same day, except you're... Yeah, people probably thought it was the same day. I, I just have the same clothes on. So you guys probably know how to install a, C, uh, a RAM. It's pretty straightforward. You just align these uh, pins. I don't know. They might be, some of them might be a new beginners. They just want to know how to build a PC. You know? So if you're one of those people who don't know how to build a PC and learning, this is how you know to properly install a RAM. Come a bit closer. So this is not installed properly because you can clearly see that this one is closed but this one's still open. The time when you know it's properly installed is if you can hear a click. Now, if I push a bit harder, and don't be afraid to push it a bit harder into the motherboard, it's not gonna break. Now that click there, that click is what basically keeps that in place for the rest of time and eternity. So, so there's one, two, three. Is that, oh, is that four? There's four, okay. but I only be needing three. three now, people usually recommend putting them like one here and one in the other slot, like over here. But because I have another RAM slot that I'm going to put right next to it, it's better off that I do this now. And after this, it's pretty much it, because all I need to do now is install the SSD. Okay, so I was basically forced to take this fan out because I need to take this thing, which is the PCI, I mean the M.2 slot, I think, 
So taking this out will reveal itself. There, right there, the M.2. Like so country. now we can take the the, the SSD and um, it's always so small because these M.2 are are very small and you can never see them because they're always hidden, usually hidden under. Uh, now, people usually think SSDs are, well, now all I is thinking this is what an SSD look like, looks like, but SSDs comes in various shapes and sizes. Uh, I have two of the big ones, but this is the first time I'm going with a small oh. SSD PCIe um, slot because it's just so much more simpler. So there it is. It's literally done. And all I need to do is put a screw there. Uh, which I can use from uh, one of these slots down here because I have a lot of screws which I can borrow and Allow me to intervene in your viewing experience Actually one thing I wanted to mention here is that I spent a lot of time trying to find the screw for this NVMe SSD But the whole time the motherboard already gave me so inside the Asus motherboard box they have a pack which uh, a packet which has these screws in it so don't go searching for the screws in the uh, SSD box because they don't provide you with the screws but if worst case scenario you don't have any screws you can easily buy an M.2 screws on uh, I don't know online it's, it's very very cheap it's not that expensive you should be you should be set all right guys so we're back um, of course I took my sweater out just because why not my hoodie not sweater um, basically what I did with the motherboard is I went back and I took a look and as you can see I actually reconfigured the uh, the RAM just because I realized that uh, according to the manual this is best when you're only having two for now but of course when I have a third one in I'll put that in the middle but for now just for have it just just to make it boot up we do that that's fine I checked the processor again it's perfectly fine we did it first we did it well the first time and the m.2 ssd is inside already basically all you had to do was take these things out so these screws these um one two and three you have to take them all out there was I another one four. well there's four because i was just about to get to that you have to wait one two you get that up first and there's one more there's one and two there so you have to take those two out and then there'll be a slot for you there's actually two m.2 yeah. slots here one here one here and one here okay that's pretty much it now uh we basically put all the parts in together so what we can do now is actually install a cpu cooler just onto the uh motherboard, motherboard. so that is what we're going to do i'm going to quickly get the uh not the motherboard the motherboard is right there the cooler now i haven't opened this yet because ever since it came i just left it so that we could uh open just it open it during the actual uh, installation we have a warranty guide and instruction manual <sighs> you, you, you don't need the instruction manual search. i don't need that the funny thing about this comment is i looked at the manual just five minutes after i said this yeah. anyway let's open up the phone again so there's something that we have to understand here now the coolers aio coolers such as these have preset intel uh backplates installed to them so when we're building them we have to make sure to change them now this one already has a pre-built um, back set. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is called, but um, it's already pre-installed. So all we have to do is remove these because these are for the um, default uh, CPU code that the Intel processors give. I'm oh, sorry, not Intel. I mean AMD. Hey guys, this is Adrian from the future. Obviously, look at my hair. <laughs> um, now, w one thing for sure, for a fact, I have to mention is obviously this video is quite outdated because I recorded this in January and it's August 26th today. Um, so it's been a while since I actually uploaded it because I had exams, which never happened, and then Corona happened, so stuff. But one thing I will mention, the reason I'm doing this right now is one of the things I did there right now in hindsight was a complete mistake. The thing that was on the motherboard, the brackets, they were meant to be there. I tried to forcefully remove it and I almost, I almost destroyed it. And I was so lucky that I didn't destroy it. Now what happened was, now, so the AIO cooler already has a bracket on there. It has an A, it has an AMD and it has an Intel uh, bracket. So the one that they gave already worked very well with my, uh, my motherboard, but I did not know how to put it in properly. So I thought it wouldn't be compatible and I decided to remove it because I thought um, it's wrong. But as it turns out, when I tried it for the third time, it actually worked. And I was so happy because I was literally about to grab something to break it off. Now, before you make these kind of decisions, make sure you really do do a lot of research because I made a huge mistake by um, attempting to do that. 
but it's a good thing that i didn't do it because if i did then i would have just ruined that motherboard um so that's basically what i'm saying i i think i will show you what happened just so you guys know not to make that mistake that i did but um, thankfully, nothing bad happened. Everything worked very well. And I think we should just get back to the video. So uh, we have to just get rid of these by uh, removing the screws, which I think this screw is too small to do. Or is it perfect, but it's just not. Yeah, I think it's too small. We got to replace it to a bigger one, um, which this would suit, I think. It might be good enough. Or I don't know what's going on. Alright guys, I'm going handheld for a while, just so I can explain to you what happened yesterday. Um, basically yesterday I was trying to install the, P, uh, the, uh, the AIO cooler, and uh, I ended up encountering an issue. Now this issue was a pretty big issue for me, because I wasn't able to solve it until like later that day. Uh, basically what happened was, you see, this is the actual motherboard with the PC, the, the AIO cooler installed already. And I, I wanted to do this with you guys watching, but I really couldn't because I was in a situation where I was so confused. I thought they had given me a faulty motherboard and I was going to draw into many conclusions, which I assumed would be better if I was to do that alone rather than with you guys. So the issue was the this mounting bracket, the default one that was already given to us uh, by uh, Asus, uh, Asus, sorry, um, through factory build this this actually this uh, no this one this screw and this screw you can see is a bit broken already that's because i was trying to remove it and it just it, it kind of it was too tight to begin with this one was easy to get out so was this it was very easy to uh, get outside but then the rest the this one and this one was uh, far too tight so they tightened a bit harder so i got really confused turns out corsair does give you an ext extra um mounting bracket which was this AMD specific one so you can actually see that um, it's on the processor right there and it's doing very well so far it's amazing I haven't really changed anything else I did take off the RAM just to ensure that I don't damage it during the process of installing this um, I've decided to put this inside the, the the case first inside there and then afterwards I could install the RAM because that would be just so much easier now what I'm gonna do is actually install the fan and onto the uh, the radiator just to ensure that uh, it's easy for me to install it to the onto the uh, to the PC case very easily. So um, that is basically what I'm going to do now. Now the fan installation is so simple and it's frankly going to be boring for you guys. So I'm going to skip that part. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it onto the radiator and then we're going to put the, the the motherboard onto the PC case together. And I'll see you there. Um, what we're going to need now is is actually the standoffs because we're going to install the motherboard on there. And I think where the standoffs are, are the standoffs already in, on here? I think there are. So we're just gonna have, because I think the last time I did this, it's not this one, it's, yeah, it must be this. Because if you look at the, because what I like to do is, because I, um, of course I'm not a professional at building PCs, but of course we do make mistakes even if you are professionals. So what I like to do is actually- Well, Linus has made a mistake. Yeah, well, Linus makes a lot of mistakes, including dropping stuff, but not anymore. He doesn't drop stuff anymore. But um, actually installing the motherboard is, is a bit of a pain because you need to know which screws to use. And if you mess up, you're going to be, like, and really like you're gonna die. in a bad mood. Yeah. This uh, 632 screws, they're flat. These are the ones that I think are going to be used for this process. Now, and just to check if this is the right one, we're going to take one screw and put it onto these uh, one of these areas and check if they tighten up. If they do, and they do, so these are the correct ones. So right now, we're gonna put these stamp, these screws onto these, uh, you see these metal marked circles? That's where you're gonna put all these screws into to ensure that they're gonna be there. There's nine of them, so make sure you count your screws. There's one here, one here, one there, and there's another one over here, one there. Uh, you wanna be really, really precise when you're doing this because you can get wrong very easily. So I have, four on here i have one already there which means i have five which means i need to put four more afterwards so i have one here that's gone inside and i have one here which has gone inside well not yet but it will soon and there it's inside i have one over here which has gone inside i have one over here right next to the io shield which is quite hard to put inside and to see but i've done that already it's inside it's quite fast and we need to put four more in yeah 
So there's one here, one here, one here, and the other one is kind of tricky because it's somewhere in the middle if I'm not wrong. This mic won't work right now because I turned it off for a while. Uh, basically guys, unfortunately you won't be able to see me put the actual motherboard onto the, uh, the case because it's just too hard for me to do in front of camera, plus it's going to take a long time because I have the cooler pre-installed already. So it will take me a long time just to put that on there. But what, I'll, what I will also do is also connect them up just to check if they're working uh, as a part of the process. Just so that I don't waste any of your time and I don't waste any of my time. But basically what I did was I, I removed the, uh, the, the heating uh, plate on top, which is where this was hiding. This was the actual last mark that you were supposed to put the stuff inside. And... Um, uh, the, for those who weren't there when I, well, you guys probably saw, but if you didn't, if you skipped the parts, uh, this was where the M.2 SSD went. So underneath this is the M.2 SSD, which I'm not willing to take off right now, mainly because it's already in there and it has a thermal paste applied to it. Uh, so basically this is just going to go in, but then I'm going to do it in like this. So it's going to go in there. So the course error logo is actually going to be facing this side downwards. So you can see the course error just like that. Um... So I guess I'll see you guys once that's done because it's going to take me a while and recording this will be a pain without another person. And I can't trust my brother to do this because, I mean, he is quite uh, young. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this without any of that. And hopefully you guys can just bear with me and I'll go through the step and what after what I did and explain to you how it can be done if you're going to do it as well. So uh, here I am. I just encountered another issue um, which was not as bad as a, 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 that bad of an issue as I thought it was. So you see, originally I thought, um, that, like, I knew for a fact that this had no compatibility issue with my case. And for a second, I got so scared because this wouldn't fit. Like, you, you'll know what I mean. Like, one second, if I change this to this right now, it wouldn't go in because... Because it's not something complicated, it's actually very simple. Uh, this is supposed to be on that side. So the fan is supposed to be behind. Because I, I had thought that I could have the fans facing in, so I could have the RGB look. But I realized that not only is that bad for the ventilation, but uh, it also just doesn't work like that. I, I couldn't get that in there. Uh, basically, other than that, everything is perfectly fine. I actually removed this fan here because I thought I could maybe mount this to the top. But that doesn't work because this is hitting it. Um, so it has to be on the right side and it will work on the right side now that I figured out what, what, what the problem was. Um, so I'm just going to have to take these fans and put them on this side and, uh, it will work. So I'm going to quickly do that. And, um, uh, once I'm done, I'll get back to you guys and update you on what actually uh, happened. Uh, but you can also realize, also can notice that I didn't put the RAM in yet just because it's better for my installation. I'm going to put all the, uh, connection connectors in uh i mean i already have my power supply inside here so i'm going to start like once i finish my uh, cooler once i put my aoi inside aoi inside there i'm going to start connecting things up and uh start with the finish the ram and then finish my gpu and we're basically done and ready to just boot the, boot the thing up so uh, uh i'll see you guys in a bit once i'm done with this fan issue and now let's see you guys there the pc is pretty much almost done like uh i literally only need to put the graphics card up and my SSDs and hard drives, and I'm basically ready to boot it up and, and give it a shot. Uh, I even removed this 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 fan over here because it, it would just look better for the motherboard. Plus, I have a fan here and water cooling. Uh, I wouldn't need any fans for this. I'll let you in the video. So, um, yeah, I've basically connected most all the stuff I need. There's a PCI Express here. I, I mean, a PCI slot. So I can connect to the to graphics card, which is going to be right here anyway, because I'm going to use this slot. So I'll be taking these two out. Uh, I put I put in the RAM already. Um, this one is also already set up, as you guys know it. I've connected most of the stuff that needs to be connected. This problem, basically, uh, I don't know if it's the, the 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 PC case or what it is, but only the bottom fan was able to uh, mount properly. This top fan is not mounted at all. Like I've just put in the, the screws inside, and I've kind of taped the bottom part. Uh, and I've I haven't any I haven't put any screws on these two because this is magnetic. This filter, and if I was to keep the the, the screws there, it would just come off with the magnet of the filter. So it, it wasn't ideal. Plus, I mean, this is really strong enough and really rigid. Like I don't need to put this screw on here and i mean i just can't because it doesn't align like if, if we're to look in a bit closer like if i was to go in it actually doesn't align at all the screws up here and the screws down here it's never going to align and 
and is a problem that I'm gonna have to face um, face through. So this is what the back looks like right now. Um, it's kind of messy, I know, but this cable management will soon be very nice. I'm just doing this because I need to know what's going on right now. The only thing that I need to plug in is these uh, the SATA cables now. In my current PC, which is inside here, I have one, two, two SSDs and one hard drive down there. Uh, what I'll be actually having to do is transfer all of those stuff to the new one now because I'll be using that. Um, the only thing that I would have to change is I actually need to, to format one of these because it's partitioned, which my dad is the one who partitioned it. So instead of risking all my data that I have saved, I'm just going to literally take the stuff and just put it inside there, which means I'll be needing three, SS, uh, three SATA cables, which I already have because um, ASUS have already provided us with four SSD, uh, I mean SATA cables. So it really isn't much of a problem for us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this computer off, get the SSDs mounted in. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys once I'm done with putting the SSDs in. I will, you guys will see me again for the last piece. And I think the most, the favorite part of my, I think my whole favorite thing will be the actual uh, graphics card, the G4 R GeForce RTX 2080 Super. That's going to be amazing. Uh, so yeah, let's go. What up guys, it's another new morning. Uh, today I'm gonna to be testing out the PC, check if it works or not. I literally just woke up, it's like nine o'clock I think. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. First time I'm walking into my room today. Uh, very empty, no one's in it. So uh, that's exactly how I wanted it to be because I didn't want any clean cleanliness inside this room before I say so. All right, so let's close the door. So our PC here, um, it's basically ready to boot up. I have not installed the graphics card yet because that's the last thing we'll be doing together. But the cooler is ready, obviously. Uh, RAM is inside there. I have pretty much connected everything to the motherboard, including the SATA cable, the ATX 24 pin, the CPU, um, the front panel. Actually, for the front panel, I'm not so sure. Because what happened last time was with th with this PC, uh, when I... Cut the, put the power in uh, the motherboard got the power like it recognized it got the power I could see the light up But the issue was that when I clicked on the power button on the front panel It wasn't working because I connected the front panel connectors to the wrong pins So that was why it wasn't turning on so I'm going to double check that it's correct and then I'm going to try uh, Booting it up and see if it works because uh, you guys know I already had all my uh, SSDs on here The Samsung is the one I currently use to boot up so I'm going to be using this, and so uh, I guess I'll see you guys there. Here we are, boys. We're bringing this PC all the way to that side so I can connect it. Now, using one hand to carry it is kind of risky, but I'm strong enough. So the only way to find out if this works or not is by plugging in the power connector in. There, that goes in nice and tight. We're going to get our display port. So... We're gonna have to turn on the lights, and my god, is that a sexy, sexy lighting thing. So we know that this is getting the power uh, as it's supposed to. Um, I'm not getting any... Actually, wait, before we start, let me go and check if there's any static, because I don't know where it is, but... Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's the... the you know, the screwdriver kind of thing that checks for static. So we're gonna do that over here. Just quickly check. If something is, is, is not right, it will color, it will light up. No, nope. yeah, everything's fine. So this is the moment of truth. Uh, we're gonna turn this PC on and we're gonna see if it works. My God, you guys have no idea how fast my heart is beating. Like low key, this is like before an exam, but even worse. Bruh. Great, so it doesn't turn on. I think I fixed it. I, I, I did I did something that might be the dumbest thing ever. Uh, you see this, this these four pins right here? This is supposed to be the speaker connector. I basically connected the power onto there by mistake because there was a, another layer in the middle. I didn't see that layer, so that's why it wasn't working. Um, and while I was doing that, the cable kind of fell down. Get this, put it back in here. 
just test it out. Okay, so bar is coming in. Moment of truth. Click on it. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my lord. Woohoo! Yes! It works! And it's freaking sexy! Okay. Hey guys, it's me again. Now, what I'm trying to say here is actually pretty different. So basically, I installed the, uh, the AIO cooler, but the issue with this AIO cooler was when I booted it up, it overheated so many times. And I got so fed up, I did some research online. As it turns out, my pump was, uh, my pump or my radiator was, was actually faulty. Um, it wasn't working properly. So what I had to do was I sent it back to the store I got it from, and they sent me a new replaced model just a day afterwards. It was pretty fast, actually, not gonna lie. Um, so it was perfectly fine afterwards, because after they got the new uh, EIU cooler, it worked perfectly fine. And I've been using this PC for the past nine months anyway, so... Um, yeah, it's, it, it, that, that's pretty much it. Well, all I wanted to tell you, uh, we're going to go take our graphics card. This might be the most fun part for me, uh, which is down here. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for like, since the beginning of the build. Um, so we're going to take this, I'm going to make it into a wide angle. So you guys can see this much easier. The Strix, it's very nice. I like this. Open it up. We have a nice uh, greeting card, I think. No, this is something else. Uh, <laughs> but we have that here, and we have the actual GPU. But before we install the GPU, we actually need to take these these out. But I'm not sure how many I need to take out because um, because it could be two, it could be three, because this is a pretty big GPU. Graphics card, the Asus ROG Strix. This is how it's going to go in, slot like that. And uh, we'll peel this off later. Um, basically, for this, I might need... Well, it looks like I need to take two? Two slots? So, actually, uh, I can put it on this one, but I can put it on this one because it's just too big. And it will fit right in if I was to put it on this. I don't know how this is going to go in. I can't do this with one hand because it's just going to be... You know what? <sighs> Sorry, guys, but I'm just have to put this in before I can talk to you guys again. Guys, the graphics card is finally installed. I could not get a recording of it because I had to do it by, my, by myself, one hand. Um, so, uh, I couldn't get a recording of it. But basically, this is what happened. And we have one display port uh, open here. And two, another display port... No, two other display ports. One, no, I think it's two HDMI's, two display ports, and one USB C. Um, but the problem that I'm facing again now is this. So you see, this is a an ATX, and this is a micro ATX cable, which means I need to go back to the power supply and get a cable that's best suited for this. Guys, guys, I I panicked a bit too early. All, actually, everything was fine. Um, you just had to connect this right next to it, so it goes like that. And they actually gave a second uh, connector to this, so everything was perfectly fine. I just got really scared and uh, kind of messed it up. Also, this is supposed to be there, so I'll quickly change that up. And once that's done, we can power it up together. Guys, that's done. Connected it perfectly fine. All we need to do is put the power cable on here so we can get that. Connect it onto there. Turn that thing on. Get all the light. Okay, so that works. We're getting the light on the PSU. And we're going to turn this baby on. There it is. Look at that. Fantastic. Woo! It's making a lot of sound, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can change those settings in the, uh, well, the settings. Or if it's not, then we should see what the problem is. Yes! Nice. UFI driver. Um, that's fine. So, the VGA card is not supported by the UFI driver. So, I need to update it. That's no problem. Uh, see if, uh, change for better compatibility. Before further, just press F1 to enter BIOS setup. Uh, 
yeah, so it boots up. I mean, I have the super wide monitor, which is why you're getting this weird thing. But we have an M.2, the M.2 is recognized. All our other three SSDs are working. Guys, big issue that we had was that my CPU cooler, the uh, Corsair um, H115i Platinum, this one stopped working. I, I don't think it's, it was faulty because I think the pump was uh, malfunctioning um because i ha i had a lot of errors you guys saw that it was blinking red to begin with and that's not supposed to happen um instead i have installed the stock cooler onto my uh my uh cpu for now and that also just looks amazing look at the rgb there but uh this is basically going to go back my dad's helping me pack this up so we're going to send this to um the store that we bought it from because uh, i still have seven day uh, warranty so i can get uh, a replacement from this so i'm going to get a replacement until then this is going to work uh, with me because I need a computer because I have an exam to study for next week um, so that's pretty much it right now uh, but other than that everything else works perfectly fine I mean the temperatures in this are pretty nice the motherboard is still at 30 degrees Celsius um, the CPU is at 40 which is normal because without the you can't really use it without the, um, the cooler and the uh, AIO that I had over there was actually running at about 90 and that's not healthy at all. Um, so I'm gonna connect the internet because we might need the ethernet cable. I'll get back to you guys once uh, everything's been sorted out. So I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, it's me, Future Adrian, again. Um, <clears throat> let me just give you this one more bit of advice, which will really be helpful if this kind of thing ever happens to you ever in the future when you're building a PC. If you're having an issue with your CPU cooler, if something is blinking red, if you feel something is going wrong, Turn off your computer immediately. The longer you keep it on, the more susceptible you are for any risks or any dangers because one, uh, one piece of equipment that's not working could affect the entire system, which it will be a huge problem for you. Because if it's just the CPU cooler, you can get that replaced. But if you use it long enough until it ruins the CPU and motherboard and every other system, every other uh, component that the PC is filled with, then you would basically have wasted an entire PC. The reason I've included all of this in here is so that you guys wouldn't make the mistakes that I have made. And um, this is a good learning experience, both for me and for people watching this, if this ever happens to you. So stay aware, be very, very uh, conscious and uh, be aware, I guess. Just have a little bit of caution and everything should be fine. And I will get you, let you guys back in the video. <laughs> Sorry for this interference and once again. Hey guys, after tweaking and doing a lot of weird stuff with my uh, uh, SSDs and hard drives, I finally, finally managed to get my PC to work because I had a lot of issues with uh, booting up my stuff because I lost uh, quite a lot of stuff when I was transferring between my old PC to my new one when I uh, transferred both my SSDs and my hard drive, no, three of my SSDs and my hard drive, I encountered an issue where only two of them were working and the other two were not unrecognized. They were recognized, but there was nothing in them, apparently. So, uh, I guess I've lost my stuff, but I've uh, basically just partitioned most of them and cloned some of the stuff. So, uh, basically, it's ready to work. Uh, my PC, there it is. Sexy. Guys, guess what arrived? The new Corsair H115i Platinum RGB AIO cooler. It's fun stuff. We got it finally. We're going to have to open this up and install it because, well, the other one was broken and this one will hopefully work and not overheat because everything was perfectly connected. Although I actually really like this air cooler, I guess it has to go. Oh well. And here we are guys with the final PC build finished model kind of thing. I don't know what this is called. Basically, the entire PC is finished and, well, it was finished about eight months ago, but <laughs> uh, as it turns out, I never actually recorded the end ending part of this where I uh, finally told you guys that I, I installed the cooler and all that because for some reason, I'm an idiot and I didn't do so. And now I look like an absolute moron with this hair's cut, but I actually kind of like this, not gonna lie. Pretty nice. Anyway, um... Here's the PC, I'll show you guys in this second uh, camera, but uh, uh, just take a look at it, it's pretty awesome, and I'll show you this end result, obviously. Just, just.
Here we are, here we are, this awesome PC right here. Actually, Deadpool was inside, but I took him out when I was cleaning this for like just a casual maintenance. Uh, I might put him back in there. I don't know, I'm thinking about Batman or Deadpool, because Deadpool is easy to see. If you put Batman in there, no one can see him. You know what I mean? But I don't know, I'll think about it. Obviously, I this is the new CPU, right? I, have, I haven't had a single issue ever since I changed it. Um, and this is, of course, the the uh, RTX 2080 Super. Um, perfectly fine. It's amazing. And as you can see, this is the fat for the uh, for the, the, the CPU cooler. But there's the RGB you can see kind of. But since there's this thing blocking it, you can't really see it. So it's kind of unfortunate. Um, other than that, I guess another thing you might have noticed is my setup has moved from freaking here and all the way there. There is a reason for that, which I will explain when I do a setup video, which one of you requested. Not actually one, a few other requested. Uh, when I do that, this will be explained. But uh, basically, until then, I think it's pretty, pretty safe to say that this PC build video is finished. I know it's a very long video. It's about 50 minutes-ish. It's a pretty long video, but that's why I had the time code, so... You know, if you watch the whole thing, thank you very much. Please make sure to subscribe. It took me a long time and a lot of effort. I, I only recorded this because one, it's sponsored. Two, uh, because it's it's an interesting journey that I like to take building PCs. It's very fun. Um, and so I would appreciate, as an appreciation for that, if you could just leave a like and subscribe for me because that would just make my day. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.